Hello everyone, Pastor Greg here. I wanted to share a devotion with you that came to my mind today, but before that, just a couple of announcements. Actually, there are quite a few announcements, and I really want to focus a lot of the announcements around one particular day. And that particular day is September 10th. It's coming ar around the corner very soon. It's the day after Labor Day. It's the weekend after Labor Day. And I'm drawing your attention to that because there are a lot of announcements for that day. You can look in your Faith Alive for all those announcements. But a couple reminders for you. One, we go back to our regular schedule for worship. So no longer do we have a 930 worship service, but that moves to 1030. And the reason for that is because on September 10th is when we start our Bible classes and our Faith Quest, which is our Sunday school, all over again. And in those Bible classes, of course, is our, our Bible information class. So that is another opportunity for you to grow your faith if you would like to either refresh your, your your memory about what we all believe, or maybe this will be your first time through and you want to learn what it is that we actually teach. On that day is our next refueled service as well. So an invitation to you, and much if you came to our service that day, it was an open invitation to, for you to actually invite somebody to come to church to come to that. If you need help with trying to figure out how to do that, feel free to come and talk to me. I would love to talk to you about it. But we do have postcards that you can take and you can give as an invite to someone and bring them along with you uh, to sit in the pews with you. And that's not just for refuel. That's for all of our worship services. And finally that day, uh, we are going to, before the Packers game, uh, we are going to have a youth outing. Uh, so anybody that's actually planning on going to the youth rally, I am opening up this one to our eighth graders as well, all the way up into our, our high schoolers. Uh, anybody that is planning to come to the youth rally, we are going to have a part of our meeting immediately after the refueled service that day. A part of our meeting is going to be discussing events that are going to come, including planning for our, our fundraising, as well as then after that is done, we're going to go have some fun. We're going to go to the spa, uh, Fondy Sports Park, not the water park part, but the sports park park part and, and do uh, some fun there. So, uh, we would love to have you come. So again, anybody that's planning to come to the youth rally, I'm opening it up to you. Uh, even parents, if you're planning on coming, I would love to have you come at least for the, the organizational part, the, the informational part about that meeting. So that are some of the things that are happening on September 10th. Again, take a look at your Faith Alive to get all of the information about that day and, and any other days to come. I've been struggling today. And, and the reason why I say I've been struggling today is because I, I understand there's a lot of hurt in our society, in our world. You know, I, I remember I was sitting in church this last weekend and hearing about how school would begin. And school began this week and, and, and God blessed us again. But I remember sitting there and, and talking, I'm not gonna say who I was talking with, but how my children were like, oh, I wish school didn't have to start. Oh, I wish I could be like you, dad, dad and not have to go to school. And I was talking with somebody who was sitting behind me and we kind of both chuckled because we both understood as we were past school age time, and realize that this is this is the great time for you uh, to live because your worries, your problems are, are very minimal compared to what it's like in the real world. And, and I, I say that because I can't help but think about the hurt that is happening in our world. And some of it can cause us some anger. And I'm talking about how it seems like we, as a society, as a people, cannot get along. There, there are there are riots against those on the right or on the left, uh, they're fighting against each other and, and it's just everybody's trying to push their own agenda on somebody else. And the reality of it all is there's only one agenda that actually matters. And that one agenda is, of course, God's. What he has told us in his word, what he has declared to us to be the truth. And we, the devil, I'm, I'm thinking the devil is loving what's going on right now because he just sees that we are focusing so much on everything else and we're not focusing on the truth of what God has to say for us. And so what does that mean for, for you in particular? And I suppose that's that's a good question. And as I was sitting here struggling, I was praying and asking God, oh, what should I talk about for this devotion today? And the Bible passage that popped in my mind was one that uh, the Apostle Paul, he was writing to, to Timothy. And he wrote in 1 Timothy chapter 6, I want to read just this one verse to you. It's verse 12. We hear these words. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Fight the good fight. What does that mean? 
Does that mean that we should be out on the front lines protesting and doing all of that? That's, I don't believe that's what Paul is talking about when he's talking to this young pastor. And these words, of course, apply to every single one of us today, too. Where is the real fight? The real fight isn't against flesh and bones. God tells us that. The real fight is a spiritual fight. And it's against the very powers of the devil and all of his followers. So when Paul is encouraging Timothy, therefore God, through Paul to Timothy, to us, encouraging us to fight that good fight, he's talking about a one-on-one -on -one battle here. You versus the devil. Now that fight would always lose. You would always lose that 100% of the time because the devil is way smarter than you, more powerful than you, he's more sneaky than you, and you can see that in your own life, right? Every time that we give in, every time that we uh, follow the ways of the devil and, and not follow the ways of God, we have lost that fight. But then look who's behind you. You're not fighting the fight. It's not one versus one. It's Jesus in you versus the devil. And that is a fight that the devil will never win. He may get a couple battles here and there. He may think that he's getting the victory, but ultimately... His head has been crushed by Jesus when he went to the cross. And that is the fight that we need. That is the fight that we need to continue to win only because Jesus is by our side. He is fighting that fight for us. And that is the fight that you can take with your family. That is the fight that you can take with your church family to continue to fight against the battle of the devil. And it will be won. No, we don't need to go and protest. We need to be ready to give an answer for the hope that we have, and that, of course, is through Jesus. But we need to make sure that, that Jesus is the one who takes a priority in our life, that we, we, we come to church to be strengthened by his word. We open up our Bibles to be strengthened by his word. We have family devotions to show our families this is the most important thing that we can do to get us ready for this world, this world that just doesn't maybe understand or know any better, that we are ready to help. The world is hurting. And it needs warriors that are ready to, to fight that battle. And my friends, with Jesus backing you, you are that warrior. Continue to fight that good fight. Continue to have Jesus in your life every single day, every single week. Be there for your family to strengthen that family so that when they go in the world, they too can fight the good fight in a very peaceful way. But to show that there is one victor of all. And that victor is Jesus. God bless you all as you continue to fight that good fight because you know the end result, eternal life with Jesus. God bless.